Hey guys, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and today I want to show you how to take more control over editing black and white photos. Now, I know you probably already know that there is an adjustment layer that says black and white, right? So if you don't, let me show you real quick. If you come down to the bottom in this half black, half white circle, and you click there, and you go up to black and white, you can easily transform your photo into a black and white picture. But if you want a little more control over your black and white editing, I want to show you another trick that you could use. So I'm just going to um, cancel out of that black and white one. And we're going to go down to our adjustment layers again, but this time we're going to choose gradient map. Now, when I did this, my gradient that I have loaded up is already one that goes from black to white. If yours doesn't, you just go put your mouse over that uh, gradient and you're just going to double click and you'll get all of these gradients that pop up. A lot are already preset into Photoshop for you, including a black and white one. Okay, so I'm just going to stick with the black and white one. From there, this gradient here, we can do a lot with to change the way our black and white photo looks. Now, for example, what I could do is I could start with this black square that's down here, and it's connected to this triangle. It's connected to the dark parts or the shadows in our gradient. I'm going to double click that here, and from there, I can make those darkest parts of my photo any color I want. So if I don't want my darks, my blacks in my photo to be really black, I might choose a darker gray and that kind of lightens up the overall feel of the black and white of the photo. Another thing that I could do is I could bring more color into it. So let's say I wanted it to be kind of brown or orangish. I might go into a orange color palette and choose more of a dark brown color. And you can see that brings dark browns into the darkest parts of my photo. Now, for this particular one, I, wanted, I don't want that color in there, I, but I do want to keep it a little lighter. So I'm going to choose like a dark gray, not a black, but a dark gray. And I'm going to click OK. Now, I could do the same thing on the other side with the whites in my photo. So let's try that. I'm going to double click the white now. And now we're looking at the really light areas of our black and white. If I wanted it to be white, I would just keep it like that. But if you wanted it maybe just slightly gray, you can see as I move down and make it different shades of gray, how it changes the overall appearance of the photo, of the light parts of the photo. Now, if you wanted to add a little color in there, you could do that too. So maybe you wanted a slight yellow tint. You would go to your yellow color palette and you would select a light color that was maybe slightly yellow and you can see as I pick around how that black and white is changing. Now on this particular photo again I don't want to do much with the white I want to keep it pretty white and light and airy feeling in this photo so I'm going to keep it this particular one just solid white and I'm going to hit OK. Now right there, just doing those two things alone, you can really get more control over your black and white. But there's something else that you could do to make your photo more your own, more of the vision that you have. Now you could take your cursor here and I'm just going to click on that gradient to create another point. Now this point is closer to my shadows and my darks. So I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to choose another dark color. Once again, you could choose a color that has a little bit of color in it um, or not. Play around. Let me just show you a couple different variations as I click around and you can see the different looks you're getting with that. I'm going to create one that's just slightly darker than the dark that I had chosen previously and click OK. Now with those two selected, what else you could do is you can slide and move these arrows around and take a look at the difference that you get as you slide and you move your gradient. So that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? This is giving us now more darks and the dark parts and the shadows of our photo and the, and the mid-tones of our photo and still leaving the highlights or the white parts white. So you can play around and move around with that, okay? Another thing you could do is do it to the other side. Let's create another point that's going to be our more of our lights, our whites, our highlights. 
I'm going to click on that and I'm going to choose one now. Maybe that's not completely white, but it's a little lighter gray. Just trying to give more variance to our photo and make it more of our own, make it more of what we want the photo to look like. So I'm just going to make it a little slightly lighter, lighter gray there and click OK. Once again, I can manipulate and I can move around the different points so that we have different gradients or different shades from white to light gray to dark gray to our darkest gray. So that gives us a lot more control over our black and white. And there's not one wrong way or right way to choose your colors or choose the shades that you want or even how many points that you select on your gradient. But give this a try, you guys. See if you can get more control over your black and white editing. If you do, I would love to see it. If you're in my Facebook group, post a black and white shot over in the group. If you're not, if you're, you follow me over on Instagram, I would love if you would tag me or mention me if you post a black and white photo where you tried this little technique so I can check out what you guys are creating. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the tutorial, I would love to know. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment, a hi, a hello. Where are you from to let me know that you are here watching. I do love connecting with you guys and I thank you very much for watching my tutorials. I will see you guys again. Thanks for watching.